What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. So I ran back to the city and the reason was that I was actually going to do the quest that uh, these old people ask for. Essentially they want you to get a gecko and one of those like pink things with the uh, hands on its ears. But I found out through a quick Google that they actually only give you love balls and like a, like quick balls. So I don't feel like that's really all that necessary. I was getting comments saying to go back and do some quests. Um, I was going to do that one, but I don't think it's really worth our time, to be honest. I'm probably just going to go ahead and continue. I did buy some more Pokeballs, though. One thing I actually should probably do is buy some uh, regular potions. I think this would be good for... I've been kind of using my potions pretty badly, to be honest. I, I really should be be a little bit more smart with my potion usage when I have, like, missing, like, 15 HP. I've been using a super potion, which I don't really need to be doing there. So now we have supers and some regular potions. Anyway... We're going to head back, and uh, I guess we got some unfinished business to take care of in the uh, Thundrome area. So, obviously got to run through some damn grass, get through some butt cheeks. Butt cheek? Get, I, get, I hate you seeing your face. Okay, so I'm, I'm leaving Charlotte in front because I'm sure we're going to come across just some more um, electric types. And our team doesn't really deal with electric types too well, so it's kind of just Charlotte that can, that can handle that thing. Bushu. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that I should probably go back and do some quests eventually. I, I just don't think I want to really waste time doing that catching quest there because I don't want the Pokeballs. But I know that there are some quests that I did miss in the like first couple cities um, that a lot of people were saying, or a couple people actually told me that it would be helpful. I think I do actually need some of the items to progress. But we're going to kind of see how that goes as we proceed. I, I, don't, doesn't, I can't picture them really giving us anything too crazy in terms of items, but if we do end up needing stuff, maybe by that point we can actually just fly to the city rather than having to freaking run back and just backtrack my ass all the way there. But All right, so here is where we left off. And we're just going to go ahead and get through this here grass. Of course, I'd be running into a wild Pokemon in every patch of grass. A little platy plot. You got an interesting cry, buddy. Very creative name for that Pokemon, platy plot. Uh, so we did battle you, and this was the cave that we went into. I don't think it's really going to go anywhere, to be honest. Seems like these Thunder Realm caves just kind of had a, have a dead end until you have the ability to surf. So we will just go for the flashlight here, light this bitch up. Just a little bit, though. And let's see if this has anything cool for us. So we just got some water. We can't actually go this way. And hey, there is an item, so I guess it was worth our time coming in here. Freaking Vambats, I hate you because you killed... <laughs> my roundhouse. That was definitely a large derp on my end, but we find TM39 for Rock Tomb. We could actually end up using that at some point, so that's cool. Anyway, that's really all there is for us to do in here, and I assume we just have to continue to the left and just see what's going on past that, uh, that grass that's up there. So it seems like this is a pretty big route, too. We got a lot, got a lot going on around here, and a lot of damn wild Pokemon, too. It's a little goal, kid. Look at that face. So much emotion in that face. Okay, let me out of here. It's fitting I have my spider running around. Charlotte feels at home. Okay. So we're back. The thunder and lightning has not started yet, so that's great. Anyway, we got this guy here. You battle me, buddy? Ah, young trainer. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Short and to the point. This guy knows how I like it. Alright, Backpacker Scott has one Pokemon. He has a channel. Oh my Jesus, it's a chameleon. A Camele Camelec. So it's an electric chameleon, and that is amazing. My team, we, so Snake's getting, I mean, we're level 15. Uh, this thing could be, uh, could be useful at some point, but for now, we should probably just go for Charlotte here. Electric chameleon, that is a great idea for a Pokemon. Look at his little hands. He's going to go for a wrap and miss. That's right. It actually turns normal type, so it does have... Uh, the protein ability, which is cool. So it's kind of like a Kecleon, but just electric type. I, I mean, with the protein ability, it doesn't really benefit from having a cool typing. But, you know, I still like that Pokemon. It's got a cool design, and I love chameleons. I actually used to have a pet chameleon. Some of you actually know that. I think I've said that before, but it's true. Anyway, just some freaking bushes. <laughs> These things literally are just like the patches of grass. Get out of my way, Bushu. Ooh, there's an item right there. So many wild Pokemon. Oh, it's a T-Rex. A freaking raise it. This would be a great Mon to get for our first encounter. But then again, um, 
we find the TM for Thunder Wave. The Pokemon that I did end up getting on this round, I, I haven't seen one since, so I feel like it's pretty rare, and I think we got kind of lucky with that encounter. But uh, let's just go across the old bridge, and we have a hiker. I caught a Pokemon in Thunder Rum Cave. Just see. If it's a Vambat, I don't care, bro. I already have one. It killed one of my Pokemon, and I hate it. Okay, it's a Gold Kid. Um, we don't have much for Gold Kid, as this thing probably has rock moves. Everything's weak to rock. Except for, I mean, Maniac and Snake, but we don't have much to do there. Let's just stay in here. Let's go for a bite. I don't know what typing this thing is. Oh, we get the flinch. Perfect, Charlotte. Perfect. It is actually faster. It goes for a bite, but you ain't gonna be doing much biting today, buddy. You gotta get, get bit, though. Alright, next is a Tauron, one of those little Jang Mao thingies. Um, what a stay in with Charlotte. I feel like this is kind of an interesting route for us, because... Luckily, we have Charlotte. I mean, I could be training up our freaking Ham Toro, but I think I'd rather just keep the EXP sure on Snake because Snake is freaking awesome. I love this thing, and I love his little cry too. His little teeny. All right, we got a Pokeball right here. We'll snatch that up. We're getting all sorts of loot today. It's an escape rope. Thank you for that. We have a couple escape ropes now. This rock looks suspicious. There is an item on it. Nope, never mind. We may be able to smash it. I thought there was an item, but we can just smash it. But we don't have rock smash or anything, so we cannot. Anyway, so this is a doctor guy. Apparently, I, th I think... Do you need to rest? I will heal your Pokemon if you beat me. Yeah, so... These guys are the real MVPs of the Pokemon world. They just hang out on routes, and they're like, Yeah, I'll heal you up if you can beat me. He's got a Snazap. Hey, I got one of them, too. Uh, so these things are poison electric, so we... It'll resist bug bites. We have to go for bite here. We're quite the biter, this spider is. We got bite and bug bite as our most useful moves. Fever's kind of cool, I guess, but we have much higher physical attack, so. I think it's actually because of our, our nature. We also, I mean, Poison Fang as well. Poison Fang actually would have been... Uh, we still resist that, but... You're still going to die, little zigzag boy. Yeah, we go to level 22 there, Charlotte. OP, I'm just a doctor. He's like, hey, man, chill out, bro. Well, you're going to need to doctor your Pokemon up then, huh, sir? Thank you. So we get a heal up. And that was nice of him. Thank you, sir. Heal your Pokemon whenever you want. So we have an item right here. Is it a paralyzed heal? Fitting for the electric route. Thank you. And we have another entrance to a cave, which we have low hopes for because this shit never goes anywhere. Um, we can go down into here, though. Is it even worth using the flashlight? We're still going to do it. But, you know. Barely even helps. There is a trainer in here, though. Such a dark cave, isn't it? Sure is. Man, my... Widox is definitely going to be pretty high leveled after this, but by all means in a Nuzlocke, you got to kind of do what you got to do. Got a gold kid here. Can we get another, can we get another bite flinch? Here we go. Nope. Okay. Does it, it goes for a rock smash. You don't have a rock move. You're literally made of rocks. You just hurl yourself at me and my spider does not like that, but thank you for the rock smash. One more bite does the trick. Down goes your gold kid. Interested to see what the hell that thing evolves into. Then again, I say that for like everything, but it's true. Okay, so this actually looks like a, a larger section of this. There was a Pokeball over that way. But there's another freaking Vambat. Of course there is. Wouldn't be a cave without Vambats. Literally like the Zubats of this generation. We find an iron here, so that's kind of nice. We can either sell that for a bunch of money, or we can give that to one of our Pokemon to boost its defense stat, which is kind of nice. Especially in Nuzlocke's defensive mons are key. But let's head over here where there's actually nowhere else we can go because we can't freaking ride on water yet. Well, we did at least get a trainer battle. We can actually go right to. Don't have rock smash, so we can't smash that. And time to proceed. We've got to be getting close to the new city here. You would think at least. One would think. But this seems like, I mean, if they put a doctor on this route, it's got to be quite the large route. One last freaking wild Pokemon. Okay, okay, Stotox. Get out of here, buddy. I'm starting to learn the names of these things. I see that. I'm like, oh, that's Stotox, obviously. Let me show you my aromatic Pokemon. It's probably going to smell like farts. This lady's got uh, a smelly Pokemon. Hey, Lady Elliot has a Bushu. Does Bushu smell? Is that... Is it a smelly bush? Does it smell pleasant? I don't know if I want to smell your bush, lady. <laughs> Sometimes the jokes just write themselves. Okay, another Bushu. So you know what? We're actually going to switch it up here. Let's let Happy do some killing. One lady that doesn't have a freaking electric type, we can actually use Happy, our shiny buddy. 
And we're gonna go ahead and pee on your bush. And that's gonna kill you. Because you're only level 15. We could actually be... We could have gone and used uh, Zing Zap Boy. Elliot's been defeated. It smells like teen spirit. What smells like... What the hell does that smell like? Have you ever heard anybody say that? You know, it smells like teen spirit in here. I guess that's kind of a good thing. Oh, hey, what's going on here? Hello. You again. Did you follow me? Ha, ah, I wiped the floor with Damon and got the darkness badge. I see that you have it too. I was just in this cave and found a strong Pokemon. I battled and caught it. Want to see it? I guess that you'll have to battle me to find out what it is. Well, he gives us no choice. We gotta battle Rick. He's probably got some type of cool electric type he found on this route, but all right, Rick. Time to get these hands, buddy. He has four Pokemon. Sweet Jesus, he's got a Tauron. Okay, so that's probably what he found here. I mean, maybe he's got a whole bunch of others, but we're gonna go for a Poison Fang. And Charlotte, okay, wait, no, what, what the hell, what type is this thing? Well, we do actually get the badly poisoned, so that's actually kind of nice. Ooh, it's got a rollout, though. Okay. Luckily, <laughs> rollout, the first one does nothing. It's going to need to charge that up quite a bit, but not going to give you the chance, stupid. And we're just going to bite you. Fucking lives it, but we get the flinch, and the poison damage is going to kill it. Would you look at that? Poison with the teamwork. All right, what's next? It is a Paraka. So that's definitely, that's, I think we have seen one of those things, right? The little, uh, little parrot thing. So we can go into happy here. If it's a bird battle you want, it's a bird battle you're going to get, Rick. So yeah, there's the paracod. This thing is adorable. It's going to go for Fury Swipes. What type is this thing? Nobody knows. So luckily, only level 16. Could have, I guess, actually tested out our freaking zigzag boy. But it's fine, because our roar beam knocks you out. Hopefully we're going to be ready for Rodney, because, okay, next is the Dynamite. We'll actually stay in here against Dynamite. Okay, it's actually level 18, and I'm a little bit afraid of what this thing's going to do. I don't have the, mo the most health right now. What, am I, what should I go for? We'll just use a regular potion here and just kind of scout what this thing wants to go for. But I was saying, we might have a harder time against freaking Rodney. Oh, power-up punch. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's super effective, too. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is the, oh, it's fight, it's fighting type, of course, of course, of course. We're going into Twitter then. I lost my damn roundhouse, moral of the story, and I'm upset about it still. Oh, dude, this thing's going on for, oh my god, it went for another. Uh-oh, this is bad. This is not good. It's just going to continue going for power-up punches, and I don't have anything that can knock this thing out in one hit. Unless, unless we hit a sing. Should I leave it all down to the Sing? I can go for a wing attack, but I don't think it's going to kill it in one hit. I think it's going to come down to going for Sing, and we better be faster. I'm just going to click Sing. If it misses, we're fucked. Oh, it's it's faster. All right. That is going to kill me. And, uh... Uh-oh. And it has Moxie. Holy Jesus, there's no way we can... There's no way we can beat this thing. I got to go into Charlotte, I guess. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, uh, I'm gonna go for a fever and try to get a burn. Please, fever. No, oh, goes for chip away. Okay, yeah. Oh, we living. We living. Holy Jesus. Okay, so I killed Twitter. I realized that that sucks. I how was I not faster than this fucking thing? I was two levels higher than it, and I'm a bird. Like, hello. Well, we can go for one more fever and knock this thing out. I'm upset, mostly because that Bud Cheap or whatever Cheap Ip is my first <laughs> like encounter I got. It wasn't my first encounter. It's early Mon, and I'm sad. But I mean, could that could have been way worse. That thing had power up punches and Moxie going. Sweet Jesus. Let's go into Snake for this thing. We're not too. Uh, I think we'll be okay here. If Charlotte would have died, that would have been a different story. Freaking Jumple. We don't care about you, Jumple. There's no. There's, no way Jumple can have anything too scary. Level 17 Snake, eh, it doesn't do very much, but you know, he's trying his best. I hope it evolves relatively soon. Goes for a struggle bug. Man, I'd be, I'd be killing stuff like every episode. <laughs> this is probably one of the tougher Nuzlocks. Just because I don't know what to expect from stuff. Like, I, I, man. I really thought my Sing plan was gonna work there. I was gonna be able to put it to sleep, go for two wing attacks, would have been a game over, but no. Of course, nothing ever works according to plan. Rick is defeated. Get a thousand dollars from him, but we've lost both our dignity and our bird. So 
I have potions, so you're lucky they don't have to go all the way back to Crestlight to heal up. I'll go and train my Pokemon so they evolve and become much better than yours. Catch you later, loser. This guy, he's the asshole of our of our rivals. See, Rodney's at least kind of nice, but him, he's mean. Let's let's run back to this guy that heals us. Um, we're actually probably pretty close to where we can get a heal. But to play it safe, oh, dude, am I even going to be able to run? Charlotte can run from this thing. If, if Charlotte, okay, sweet Jesus, that would have been bad. The last time, <laughs> freaking Happy couldn't run from that thing, and I was I was afraid. But we're back to full. We gotta make sure that we do bury our buddy Twitter. He's the longest lasting Pokemon so far, but of course I had to go and kill it because that's, you know, what I do. Although to be fair, I was really in a situation there where there was not much I could do. There's another one of these damn things. Dynamite, get out of here. I hate you, Dynamite. Power up punch with Moxie? That thing was just destined to kill shit, man. Could have been way worse if Charlotte wasn't so overpowered, but thank God. Still upset that I wasn't faster. Like, what, what, what was up with that? I'm a bird. I have wings. That thing's on the ground. I should have been way faster. <sighs> Freaking Stotox. Imagine stepping on this thing. Talk about, like, stepping on a Lego. That would be way worse. Oh, my God. There's a wild Pokemon guarding this Pokeball, and it's a stupid little Tauron. This thing looks like its design is unfinished. Like, there should be more there. But, okay, we get a timer ball. Nice. Very random Pokeball to find, but alrighty uh, then, let's... Should we switch up the lead? Twitter, you're dead as hell, you're not getting any use. Uh, Snake, you're actually still a little bit too low. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Happy in front. I'm gonna be super sad if anything happens, but I feel like we should just spread the love around. The Thunderum Caves are mysterious. Give me a test of your skills before you enter them. I've already entered them, lady. There's like, there's been like four f caves already I've gone into. Eddie, with one D has a flock and uh, all right that's actually great that i ended up leading up with leading off with happy because we can just aurora beam you and it has ember so that actually is neutral because we're water ice that's fine and this is actually oh it's a, this is a fire type bird as well so it, it's neutral to ice too so quite an interesting matchup we have here but i am the superior bird so happy's gonna kill you and we do actually need to do some grinding snake goes to level eight though so, or 18 that's good Good job, buddy. Snake, you're going to be useful in no time, friend. Hopefully. So, how big is this route, man? Wait, can we go... Was I supposed to go left over there? There's a Pokeball that way. We're just going to continue here. Um, we got some more grass. Very grassy area. I think we've pretty much... I know this snake. I think we've pretty much seen about everything that we can get in this route. In this. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was bad. Happy, can, I forgot, can never run from things. I don't know how I forgot that, but you would think I would be fast enough. Now I'm wrapped, so I really can't escape, so we are going to use a potion on you. Yeah, we'll just use a regular one. This, this thing has Thundershock, though, so... But luckily, it just goes for Acid. Wrap freaking hurts, dude. I got to heal up to full. We're just going to use a Super. <laughs> I can't die to this... I really get I, I, We're never putting Happy in front again until it evolves. Nobody's left a comment letting me know if this thing evolves through Waterstone. Definitely is something I should just Google, but okay. All right, finally, let's go for let's go for Water Pulse. We're going to get the confusion. Okay, there's the Thundershock. Please don't kill me. Thank God. Still not in. We're not in range for Rap either, so that's good. And uh, just about, just about kills it with that. But now, can we switch out yet? No, oh, because of the damn, the wrap's still there. It wouldn't tell me if it went away. We gotta go for another super potion. This is, you see this, Happy? You're making me do this, buddy. This is with another Thundershock. The wrap should free this turn, right? Nope, just, just still going. We can't be hit with another. Why couldn't I have just got the confusion and then it killed itself? We're going for another super potion. Don't die on me, Happy. I'll be damned if I let my shiny die. Even though it was just a gift. Okay, we're freed from rap. Jesus Christ, we can actually kill this with just happy, which we do need the experience. So, we're going to take an acid and kill you with a water pulse. You damn snake. That was just annoying as hell. Barely got any experience from it either. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So, yeah, the team is definitely kind of getting a little bit whittled down. We we really need some uh, some reinforcements here. Should probably do some grinding here relatively soon. Uh, we got a nice little couple here, huh? What do you got for me, people? Let's see. We are both Poke fans and we're battling together. All right, so double battle. A couple of Poke fans here. They have two Pokemon. You got a Zuppy and a Flock. So 
we will have Happy take on the flock. And the Zuppy gonna catch this, uh, go for a Poison Fang. New roll Aurora Beam use, uh, oh, Water Pulse would be better. Why did I go for Aurora Beam? Damn it, it's, might actually still kill it. But, yeah, it's, I mean, water, water's super effective. Ice is neutral. I just see it as a, a just a red bird, but it turns out it's actually a fire bird, so oh, it does actually kill it. We're good. False alarm. Everything's fine. <laughs> My sweet Pokemon. Pokemon are awesome. They sure are, buddy. Okay, there's a hidden Pokeball I almost just missed there. We got TM57 for Charge Beam. Yo, that is perfect for our little snaky friend. We're going to give that to him actually right now. The TMs are actually uh, multiple use, so we can use these as many times as we want. And let's go, where the hell did that charge be? Yeah, TM57. That is a little bit better than Thundershock. Snake is the only one that can learn it. So, so charge beam's 50, Thundershock's 40. Um, and charge beam actually has the chance to raise your special attack. So that's kind of nice. Here you go, Snake. We're slowly but surely getting you in fighting shape. Soon, you will take over the world. But for now, you're just going to hang out there with the EXP share. Jesus, they're all, every time on the last patch of grass. Freaking Bushu, get out of here. We're just gonna have Charlotte kill you because we need you to spread the message to your friends to get the hell out of my way if you're a bush. Okay, are we almost out of here? We are. Finally, Thunderome Pass. We have passed it. And that was quite the journey. We only lost one Pokemon though, so we're good. Your Pokemon will surely hit with electric type moves here in Rust Bolt City. May this may may this will come in handy for you we get a cell battery what the hell is a cell battery um, a cell battery will boost the attack of your pokemon if it is hit with an electric type attack but it can only be used once interesting we should definitely use that for the gym battle we'll keep that in the old back pocket here's rust bolt city and this place looks pretty damn cool oh but there's what's going on here hello oh jesus Oh, jeez, you made it here too. Yes, I won my gym battle. It wasn't easy, but I did. Have you heard about Rust Bolt City? No? Well, it's a big city. It's not safe to go on the roads with all this traffic, but there are crosswalks so you can get across. Heard that there's a taxi company too. Maybe you should seek it out. Is this guy going to battle me? I'm going to look around. Don't forget, you should find a taxi to stay off the roads. Whew, thank God he doesn't battle us because he would probably destroy us. So, my God, that was... That spooks me. So, there's you, can, you can't go on the street, but there's taxis? What, what is up with this city? This place is actually kind of cool. We can use the crosswalks. There's all sorts of stuff going on around here. So Interesting. We find a revive right there. Completely useless because we can't use revives. But there is actually vending machines. There seems like there's vending machines in like every city, which is cool. Uh, we might as well stock up on a couple more lemonades. Essentially, just, you know. Some super potions. We'll get like... Jeez, it takes forever to buy shit from these, though. It's unfortunate that there's no speed up option in this game. But, oh, uh, you know what? Before we actually get too far... I need to go bury <laughs> my dead buddy. Seems like I say that every episode. My heart can't take this game, man. I Oh, there's a bike shop right there. Where was the Poke Center? Was it over this way? Y'all seen y'all seen a Poke Center around here? What's up, scientist guy? Where the hell this place is fucking massive. Kind of annoying that you have to use the crosswalks, but oh there's There it is. Did I go the the complete wrong way? I kinda did, but it's alright. We take the long way. We're going to heal up before anything, and then we're going to bury our dead birdie. It's okay, though, because honestly, I think Buncher, or I think it does actually evolve one more time. But it's kind of just the basic, like, starter, like, Route 1 bird boy, so it's okay. We are going to go ahead and stick you. Sorry about that, Mr. Twitter. Um, you can go into the death box where we have killed five Pokemon. <laughs> Classic. One of my Nuzlocks, also. Um, what are we working with? We don't have any other options. Here's the death box. RIP, everybody. We do need to get a new encounter, though. So, we have an empty slot. Not all bad news. Oh, look at this guy's riding around on... Okay, nice. What's up, guy? When I was on Thunder Home Pass, I saw this really cool temple. I wanted to explore it, but I needed some supplies, so I came to Rust Bolt City to get some. When I went back, I couldn't find the temple anymore. Just went away, huh? Interesting. Okay, so let's let's do some expl oh Jesus, I almost just I almost just died. The guy freaking ran over me. What's going on in this uh this house here? Hello, sir. Hey there, you look like you've traveled quite a bit to get here. Did you know that there are some items that you can cause certain Pokemon to evolve? I am aware. Here have some of them. We get a razor fang. 
Okay. And a razor claw. Can you give me a water stone? I think I need one of those. Okay. Well, unfortunately, don't have any use for those, I don't think. My dad loves exploring the caves and forests outside of the city. Things he finds on the ground are really neat. Let's actually see if we can use any of those items. I don't know if I have random... I mean, I know nothing about these damn Pokemon. So, for all I know, Razor Fang could evolve freaking... Snick. Already holding... Oh, wait. I, did I use give? Oh, Jesus. I, I meant to use... We can only give? Do we have to trade them? I know that in the originally you're supposed to trade them with those items, but... Um, that's interesting because... Don't know how that's gonna work. Well, we're gonna worry about that later. Hello. City is so fast and hectic. I love it. Okay, so how do we use the taxi? What, uh... How do we do this? Hello? <laughs> Doesn't seem like we can really even use the taxi service thingy, so, you know, whatever. There's so many electric type Pokemon around Rustbolt City. If you catch one, give it this item. And we get a magnet. Okay, so that's cool. It raises the power of electric moves. We could definitely give that to our buddy. Um, freaking Snick. Already holding the EXP share. We're going to just go ahead and give that to you now. We'll do some grinding with this thing later. We got it up to level 18, so I think that's probably a good enough point to get it to. At least, hopefully we can find some grass somewhere around the city. Here's the bike shop. Can we get a bike? Do we have to pay a million dollars? Hello. Sorry, we're totally sold out. The bikes on the right side are just dummies, not drivable. <laughs> just dummies, huh? They just had to find a way to, they're like, no, I, I see the bikes right there. But so there's like traffic lights. How the hell do I use the taxi? I have no idea how I'm supposed to use this. Can I like, he told me I could get around with the taxis. What the hell do I gotta do? I mean, for the most part, we can kind of just run everywhere we need to by just using the crosswalks, but I need a damn taxi. Gotta whistle that thing down or what? Very dirty place, so it's up to me to fix it. I found a weird item. Since you're a trainer, why don't you take it? And this guy gives us a full restore. Ooh, nice. This guy doesn't even realize how valuable that full restore is. Well, thank you, sir. So, what's happening, guy? Hmm, there's no way I can beat the gym leader with this weak Pokemon. I want a real Pokemon like Razid. Help my, uh, mine helped me out. Let's make a trade. I don't have a raise it, unfortunately. What the hell does that guy have, though? This looks like a pretty cool Pokemon. Don't be mean to your Pokemon, sir. What are you guys? These people just rocking out. My boyfriend and I are pa practicing for an upcoming battle of the bands. Gonna rock the competition. Cool. Girlfriend is fired up about the competition. Inspires me to really go all out. Great dialogue. Great dialogue. Okay, well, we got a trade there. Don't think we're gonna be able to do that, but... Good to know. Dude, this place is huge. Okay, so there's there's a bunch of fucking taxis right there. But we can't really get over there. We're now on the outside of the city. So we're just gonna... We're doing some running. We're giving Charlotte some freaking workout. Look at its legs. I love it. Reminds me of that dancing crab video. Okay, so... It just takes us right to the beginning of the city. What am I supposed to do here? We haven't really gone far right. Have I even seen the gym yet? I'm lost as hell. We got some more houses that we can check out, though. Seems like a lot of people give you stuff, so, you know, it might as well, probably worth a try, just seeing what's going on. You look like you have quite the potential. Would you like to make a trade with me? Looking for a flock for my grandsons, and I'll be willing to trade my Toxodon. I don't have a flock, unfortunately. There's some cool trades, though. Probably the only way to get those Pokemon. Can't wait to be a trainer. I'm going to catch all my favorite Pokemon and be the next champion. You dream big, kid. You dream big. Talking about Grandpa battling. Nice. So, uh, you know what? I forgot to check, check that trash can, and every time I forget to check one, I'm like, ah, I'm just not going to do it. Okay, it's still on P. But I always feel like I'm going to miss the one that has something in it. Unfortunately, that was not the one. How do I use the taxis? Am I, is there something I'm fucking missing here? Like, I'm intrigued. Okay, we can head out to the right there. But, hey, would you like to take this? I found it on the street, and we get a destiny knot. Okay, see, people just... Like to give things away for free. Don't know the purpose of this item? You'll find out, maybe. I forget what Destiny not even does, actually. Um, look what it is. We found the game corner. Okay. Nice. We also have a super repel there. Well, that should come in handy. Should we check out the game corner? Do some gambling? What's going on in here? Do you actually have games we can play? Lost all my savings here, but I just can't stop gambling. You have a problem, sir. My name is Mr. Game. My heart pounds with excitement when people enjoy my coin game. In fact, that's what I live for. Go ahead and play it. 
Make my heart pound with excitement. Wait, we can't actually play. Oh wait, show me how you play and make my heart pound with excitement. Can't play unless you have a coin case. So of course we don't have a coin case yet. I'm sure somebody just gives it to us, maybe even in here. Don't know how much time I want to spend freaking gambling though, because we got shit to do, man. I'll tell you a secret if you learn how to play Voltorb Flip, you can learn a lot of coins. Earn a lot of coins. So it's actually Voltorb Flip. That's a game that I have played before. It's actually kind of fun. But we are going to go down this way. Where the hell was the gym? I thought that was going to be the gym. Look, there's even a little, little, a little park in the middle of the city. That's actually kind of cool. Are you trainers? What's up? I come here to relax under the sun, but battles are fun too. Okay, so we do battle the people in the park. Interesting. This lady dropped her Pokeball. She has an Elecritter. Only level 16. Charlotte's going to destroy this thing. I should probably stick Snack in front, but then again, we wouldn't really be able to do much to Elecritter or anything. Charlotte goes to level 23. Next is a Moonkey. Um, should I just, should I let Snake try? I also still don't know what the hell type Moonkey is. Why is this something I should know, but I, I, I definitely don't. Um, let me go for a Poison Fang and see what happens. This thing's level 16. We have a level on ya. We do get the poison with it though. Luckily, it's, it's a nice uh, toxic poison, which is cool. Oh shit, it has, uh oh. Oh my Jesus, we live it with 9 HP. We get confused. Yo, if I just killed this thing, I would have been so incredibly upset, but we're good. We're good, we're good. Psybeam, we live in, it's, it's psychic type. I definitely knew that, but for some reason I thought it was fairy. I always think this thing's fairy type. It's gonna go for another Psybeam. Happy can eat that up though. Oh my God, that was scary. We're just gonna finish you with a quick attack, hopefully. Yep, that's gonna do the trick. Down goes your Moonkey. We gotta somehow remember that that thing's psychic type, because goddamn. Well, guys, we're gonna end the episode here. Next time, we're gonna figure out what there is to do in the city, do a little bit more exploring, and uh, hopefully catch a new Pokemon here pretty soon, because we gotta fill the team out again, because I freaking kill everything. And Charlotte's holding something, and we got a ooh a rare candy. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Peace out.